We are home. And yes, home, temporary home, is that I'm a survivor. But look at this, she wants to have attention from Mr. Hank. Look, that's Mr. Hank. He's not mean, he's very sweet. And even though Mr. Hank can be a little bit snooty sometimes, he really is sweet. And Mr. Hank wants to get to know her just as much as she wants to get to know him. And y'all, that is super sweet and special. Guess where mom's going? We're gonna go get your sister. It's homecoming day for our Fifi. It's been a long drive. At the next light, turn left. Oh, my phone's telling us to turn left at the next light. But I'm so like excited but nervous. And that sounds really strange, but I'm I'm nervous to, to pick Fiona up for her reaction, for how this is gonna go. And Lester thinks that I'm completely crazy for all of those feelings, but I am. I'm. I am nervous. You? No, I'm not nervous. I'm excited about seeing Fiona. I just want her to stay calm. Yeah. And not get too excited about seeing mommy and daddy, and not obviously <laughs> re-injuring herself. At the light. Yeah. Use the left Definitely lane to turn onto Harvey Road. Things. So we're close. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We're here. This is so crazy. The trick is gonna be how are they gonna how are we gonna get her out? I'm gonna carry her out, probably. Gonna carry her. Here we are. I'm so nervous. Look, small animal hospital. Mm -hmm, oh. Our baby. Well, she's a tiny girl. Mm-hmm. Fiona's not small, let's be honest. She's probably the biggest animal in there. <laughs> the biggest small, small the she's, biggest yeah, little. She's their biggest little. Poor babe. I'm walking faster than Lester, I'm not waiting. Sorry, my patience is gone. And I'm ready. Ready to see our sweet girl. Lester is waiting. literally going live right now. <laughs> Jeez. This is terrible. We paid the bill, we got all the discharge instructions which include like seven medications that she's on. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. I'm just excited to see her. So I'm sitting here stalking the door like a crazy person, waiting for my baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my sweet oh my baby. Oh my baby. Oh. Baby, how are you feeling? How's that meal? Are you drunk? Yeah, your breath kind of stinks. It's a bumpy ride back here. We'll be home soon. Get you some good sleep tonight, okay? And your baby bye. Oh, my poor baby's so skinny. We are home. And yes, home, temporary home, is that I'm a survivor. So, after a whole lot of debate, like, a lot of discussion, a lot of debate, a lot of just thought into this. We decided that the best place for Fiona to spend this part of her recovery is that I'm a survivor. <laughs> and the reasons are, there's no other dogs here to potentially cause harm to her. And not in a way of being mean, but in a way of just jumping on her and and putting her through things that she's not ready for. And even scaring her or anything like sound wise could be something that literally ruins all of the stuff that we've already gone through and have put in place. Literally put in place with screws, nuts, bolts, wire, those things. And we decided <laughs> that I'm a survivor is the best place for our sweet girl, Fiona. So here we are at home starting our recovery journey she just had her medicine and <laughs> she's uh starting to try to wind down for the night and our sweet girl here is 
Well, she's learning about all the smells and all the sounds of I'm a survivor. And the number one is that gunpowder finishes the dog food. I don't know how to fix that, Fiona. That is very much like a part of our lives and kind of what she does. I'm so sorry. At least it provides entertainment. That's all I can say. So, I can tell that she's a little uncomfortable. And I just gave her her 8 o'clock meds. And I'm a horrible mother because it's 10 to 9. We were just getting home and I was wanting to make sure I had the right dosage and to read all about it. So, we're a little bit late, but that's okay. And then she gets two different meds at 10 o'clock. So Fiona actually came home with like seven different medications. And I wanted to make sure that she ate and got plenty of water because that's what it says for some of those eight o'clock meds. And she did. So we'll get her all dosed up here. In the words of Lester, all doped up. <laughs> and um, we'll get her relaxing. I think that she's comfortable as far as the way she's laying. And yes, my feet are on her bed right now. Um, I did realize that our floors are a little bit slippery for her. So I brought in my dirty kitchen rugs for right now. They are non-slip rugs. Um, I know, baby, I know. I'm so sorry. But she did eat. She drank. She took her meds like a good girl does. And she is resting now. And I'm going to lay here right next to her. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama's not leaving. I'm going to lay here and kind of soak up and see how she does. But look. See, she can shuffle just enough to be able to get going and get comfortable, at least. Now, she does have some pelvic fracture that they didn't repair with surgery because just like rib fractures they let them you know kind of <clears throat> heal on their own not every single piece of it is able to be quote unquote put back together it will heal and she'll be okay and nothing's you know affecting her spine or anything like that oh baby i'm sorry i can tell that she's a little uncomfortable and maybe it's it could be the fact that it's a little bit warm in here so i do have the ceiling fan going but i might have to go get one of our other fans to put on in front of her because they're naturally hot dogs that's not hot dogs but you know what I mean like they like cooler weather and being in the house is really not her jam <laughs> overall as much as she wants to be by mama she uh <laughs> hi lovely it it could very well be that it's just hot in here for her now she's not panting like that or you know nothing but I can just tell that she's a little bit like fidgety a little bit anxious and that's okay. It's a new place. It really is. This is brand new to her. She has never been to I'm a Survivor. Even though that's her bed and it smells like her. The two cats that are here. Nobody's messing with her or anything like that. Right, Hank? The two cats are new. And the smells are new. And, and the noises outside are new. But look at this. She wants to have attention from Mr. Hank. Look. That's Mr. Hank. He's not mean. He's very sweet. And even though Mr. Hank can be a little bit snooty sometimes, he really is sweet. And Mr. Hank wants to get to know her just as much as she wants to get to know him. And y'all, that is super sweet and special. Fiona knows no strangers, like at all. And Mr. Hank doesn't either, really. Like, his little hiss in the beginning was really more so because, well, we hadn't been home all day yet. And, uh... Jake took care of all the outside animals, but nobody came in and brought Mr. Hank any dinner. So he was a little bit upset that we came right in and made a video and didn't even think about Mr. Hank and his lack of food. And by lack of food, I mean you could see the bottom of his bowl for Pete's sake. And, well, that was hard, Fiona. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Mr. Hank is a good boy, and he's going to be super sweet to you. And that's gunpowder, and she's going to be sweet to you, too. The cat's pretty much mine to their own. Nobody's going to, like, mess with Fiona. But I do know that Mr. Hank likes to be present. <laughs> and it's going to be good that Fiona has a buddy. 
Mr. Hank has no claws and he only has about three and a half teeth. So it's gonna be okay. I know that Fiona is still, like I said, she's in pain. She's only a few days from the accident. And they told us that it's gonna take a while. Could take up to 12 entire weeks. But most of the time, puppies like her, because Fiona is a puppy, Fiona is only, only five months old, um, six months old, officially now. Uh, they said that it could take time. And at the same time, could go pretty quick depending upon what her mental status is. And, you know, it's just an individual thing. But they were really happy with her progress so far. No, baby, you can't lick it. You can't lick it. Mama's going to have to put the, put the cone back on you. Hey, you can't lick it, baby. Okay? No licking. Thank you. I know. It's so sleepy. She's a little drugged. She's had some anti-nausea medicine. She just took her antibiotics and her uh, NSAID, which is like ibuprofen. It's to help reduce swelling. And the other thing that we have to do is I have to ice her leg. So that's going to be an adventure too, baby. What was really neat about A&M is they are a teaching hospital, uh, a teaching veterinary hospital. And so we got to deal with med students and residents and the regular veterinarians too. She's like, I, I know them. I got to talk to them all. And everybody loved animals. And that's just a really neat environment. I imagine that while there are many sad days and hard days there, I imagine that there are some major rewarding days too. And if I wasn't 40 years old, I would maybe consider going into veterinary medicine. But I'm at a point in my life right now where that just isn't possible, Fifi. Oh, sweet girl. I know. She's a little fidgety, y'all. That noise of the ice machine is something that she's not familiar with. And just overall, just a lot of change. But it's going to be okay. And we love you. I have a feeling I'm going to be right here tonight. That's right. Um, one thing that we have not talked about is the what will happen whenever we have to step away or go outside to do chores. Because right now, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. But Fiona can't have as much room like this to be able to do things. They want her on very strict rest. Um... I did order a crate for those times. I don't know if we'll end up using it or not. It's going to depend on how she's doing and how anxious she is when we leave the room. Nobody likes to hear that. I, for one, am not, I, I don't like to crate dogs. I don't want to cause her more stress and distress throughout those things. And it's going to take some adapting for Lester and I as well of how we're going to navigate every single piece of this. But I know that we'll get through it and we'll do it. And each day... Hopefully, she shows signs of being in the right direction. Baby, that's your knee. I know you don't have a cut there, but you can't be licking and biting and nibbling. Please. Don't make Mama get the cone right now. Please. We gotta do a wound check in two weeks. No, baby. No, you cannot lick that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a wound check in two weeks, and that'll be just with Dr. Priestley. We're able to do it to do that with the local vet. And then in six weeks, we have to go back up and she's got to have x-rays and they want to check all of her equipment because we have a dog that has internal equipment now. And I know lots of people have that and live with that and, and it works out really well. So this is our first adventure with nuts and bolts, Fiona. <laughs> she wouldn't make it through airport security now, that's for sure. Anyway, thank you all for loving her and for being so worried about her. And we're excited for her to show us how strong that she really is. I know, you can't lick anymore though. You're so strong that I can't even hold you back. <laughs> I'm just teasing. No licking. Come on, baby. Be a good girl for mom. Look, there's Mr. Hank. Don't you want... Oh, and Hank's licking. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> 